With that large an army, Yuan Shao must worry about his provisions. Zhao's army is ten times the size of ours, but if we lose this battle, our ambitions go unfulfilled. We must fight on! Curse you, Cao Cao! Have you forgotten that we once were friends? I shall show you the power of the noble Yuan family! Everybody, forward! <laughs> functions with no food for its men. We must cut off Yuan Shao's supply lines. Find his supply depot at once. You seem to be in high spirits. Allow me to deflate you. I'd like to see you try and beat me. If you do, I'll give you a special reward. <laughs> Concentrate on the opposite. Of strength. I'm beginning to feel faint. Go to the west. That is Lord Yuan Shao's weak point. Another enemy outlasted.
Assault? How did they ever find a supply <laughs> has burned down Wu Chao! Wu Chao? If so, then our provisions will not last much longer. The mind shall vanquish the soul. Eradicate the weapons. All right. If I were to use a color to describe the Yuan family, it would be rust. For the sake of beauty, perhaps I should go and blossom in Cao Cao's home. Concentrate on the officers. Agreed. All right. Of course. Oh! 
not destined to be ruled by nobility. Oh. <laughs> Having defeated his nemesis, Yuan Shao, Cao Cao seized the vast lands of Hua Bay, along with the Central Plains. Next, Cao Cao turned his attention to the wandering Liu Bei, who, despite lacking a base of power, had developed a stout following. I wonder if I will ever be able to utilize my talent on the battlefield. Here, are you friend? or foe? The answer is as clear as day to me. 